Welcome to Vokaru Voice Recognition from the Cloud to the Classroom. This is uh, Brenda. Uh, this is Andre Swanson, Brenda Forty, and Bill Davis, and we are creating this presentation for you. So this was part of a research project that we did um, probably almost a year ago, and we had some. Uh, uh, cohorts that worked with us on this. Um, Diane Hamilton, Maya Zelahik, and Paula Zobish. So let me begin by telling you a little bit about the background. So the, the six of us got together and we had this idea based on um, my dissertation. And I found that students believe they are unable to connect with their instructors in online classrooms. And we found this general problem that social and psychological connectivity um, is not being addressed in the online classroom. So we created a qualitative study and we looked at the student perceptions of, of connection and engagement. And that is called e-connectivity. Um, we, and we're also looking at how audio feedback impacts e-connectivity. We used a free web service called Vokuru, and we'll talk about that a little bit more. So our hypothesis was that providing audio feedback via Vokuru would result in increased e-connectivity. So in other words, if we use this Vokuru, and embed it as part of feedback, there would be an increased uh, connectivity with the students. So we decided to look at what classes we taught, and we conducted this study in management, marketing, and accounting courses, both at the undergraduate and graduate level. So we were looking for something that was innovative, and free, that was probably the optimal word here. We wanted something that was free so that if it, if it worked, that we could use this anywhere. Anyone could use it. And we found that in Vokuru. So there were some different places that we could embed this feedback or make a Vokuru posting. We could make Vokuru postings in the announcements. Yeah, as part of instructor guidance, as part of the lectures, but we decided to embed this as feedback. We felt that would be the best way for our students to hear us and connect with us. So student engagement. Online educators strive for student engagement. Um, we are trying to reach them. Uh, in our new uh, platform of Canvas, we're able to email directly in the uh, 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 in Canvas. But we tried to use Vokru to increase overall student satisfaction. So now we'll go over the research summary, and Brenda Forty will present that. Thank you, Dr. Swanson. What we're trying to do here in our research study. Uh, summary and study here, we're trying to better understand how audio feedback rather than the traditional re written feedback would impact our students. Would the students feel more connected and engaged e connectivity? We utilize Vokuru, which is an important element, and as Dr. Swanson mentioned, the key component was it was free. So Vokuru is a web-based service for sending voice messages. Our um, working hypothesis is that providing audio feedback via Vokuru would result in increased e-connectivity or social connection engagement. Next slide. We performed a literature review to better understand the theoretical framework, define key terms, and determine what information had been gathered through other research performed on our topic. Faculty wanted to ensure students are engaged in the online classroom. 
that was really a key component that we're trying to get out of this uh, research study. As a group of instructors and researchers, we want to ensure that the communication is well received and warm. We want to make sure that our uh, feedback, that our project and our feedback, that we're making sure that we are available uh, for questions. We want to keep the same vigor in the classroom and hold the students to a high standard. We want to ensure honesty in all of our feedback as well. As we look at this slide, we see this term up here called e-immediacy. In our research, we found this term, e-immediacy, which is defined as a social connectivity between two online individuals, be it between student to student or between a student and instructor. Vocal feedback may increase this e-immediacy. Sometimes we cannot convey our message through words only, as they may come across as impersonal, and this may impact the student's self-motivation, or worse yet, it could uh, create some conflict. Written words only may not let a student feel the enthusiasm of an instructor, or really an instructor's true intent. Um, and we're hoping that Vocaro will help us with this. We wanted to present some specific studies that we saw and uh, looked at. In uh, a study done in 2011 by Rodway, Dyer, Knight, and Dunn, they found that audio feedback should be positioned as a feed-forward engine, engaging students in a manner that encourages them to do better on the next assignment, focusing on the areas of improvement more so than written feedback was able to do. Another study found the key is to provide a variety of feedback, combining the written with audio elements in order to adjust feedback model to different students' learning styles. This is a wonderful point on different learning styles. We know that students have these different styles and we want to be able to accommodate them. In another study that we found, and this one was performed in 2010 by Spike here, it suggested that using video feedback with tools such as Jing, this should provide higher levels of connectivity and engagement. In yet another study we found uh, in 2011 by McGregor, um, we found that audio to be an effective feedback tool as it helped clarify students' perceptions of feedback. Other advantages included less time, and instructor could, gen could actually get more detailed. We can say a lot more when we're talking oftentimes than we can actually when we're typing. And another study that we found, and this one's a little bit older, but it was a, a pretty big study, a research done in 2007 found, our findings revealed extremely high student satisfaction with embedded asynchronous audio feedback as compared to asynchronous text-only feedback. So this study had quite a bit of detail in it. It went on to find four central themes of audio feedback. One, perceived to be more effective or conveying nuances. The second point was related with feelings of increased participation and increased learning community collaboration. And thirdly, positively correlated with increased retention of content. And lastly, related to the belief that the instructor cared more about the student. So that was a, a large um, finding there that uh, the student uh, had that feeling that their, their instructor was really with them and cared for them. I will now turn it over to my colleague and friend, Bill Davis, to discuss the methodology used for our project. Thank you, Brenda, and thank you, Dr. Andre. Our methodology was to invite the students so we are consistent across the board and all of us doing it the same way with the invite and the same process exists across the board. So with that said, here's an actual invite that I had positioned in my course a similar thing was done with everyone that participated in the test, the instructors. And I'll just read to you the first um, few sentences here so you can get a feel 
for how we approach this. This was scripted and written in advance. Good day, class. In this class, you have a chance to participate in an interesting and important study which may en enrich your learning experience. If you agree to participate in the study, you will be provided with audio feedback posted with, with, within Waypoint. By no means are you requested or re are you required to participate. Your grade will not be affected in any way uh, by participating in this study. Give it a try and take a, take a moment to listen to some sample feedback that we provided to them. And again, you can see how this is all positioned to uh, uh, hopefully make them comfortable and willing to uh, participate in our study. And again, uh, this is how we approached it. Again, uh, uh, reference resources to upload and doc sharing, upload the following documents. Uh, this was all for, uh, for us as instructors, uh, instructions in terms of doing the Bokuru study. Now, we also provided a, a script for the actual feedback itself. You know, feedback is important to students as that's how they grow and enrich and, and we're able to uh, enhance their learning. So you can see what was provided to the instructors here. And, and we were very clear on what we were asking them to do, again, for consistency purposes across the board. And, and here I'll read to you the instructions. Posting your Vokuru feedback in Waypoint. When in Waypoint, complete the scoring of the rubric. In the feedback box, the bottom of the rubric, where you would write the qualitative section of the feedback, enter the following statement. And again, you can see what we've done here. Feedback for week one assignment, good day. We would insert, insert the uh, student's name. Thank you for your on-time sub submission of the assignment. I'll review it in the following three areas. And again, we put the um, uh, criteria here, appropriate completion of all assignment, cues, task, content development, style, academic, and APA. And then we also provided them an opportunity here to show where to, to post their particular link. And so you can see that we're very clear and clean on uh, what we are asking the instructors to do. Also, too, we had a control mechanism here, too, that each particular instructor or faculty member that participated in the Vokuru study would send this to Dr. Andre as we kept a, uh, a file, an active file, to review the the test as it was going on and uh, uh, to make sure from a quality control standpoint that there was consistency across the board. And this is a form that we uh, filled out a lot um, that we would fill out. This was a sample we provided them in advance, but this was a good control and it was able to um, uh, give us a, a feel, a pulse on, on how the uh, particular uh, research study was going. And some of the results, the outcomes that we were able to achieve were, were, were favorable, and I'd like to talk about those. Although the study led to positive results, the researchers had difficulty finding students willing to participate. So some opted to not participate, and that's what we uh, found out as we began the, uh, the test, that we would have a small percentage of students participating. One student expressed that it would take too much time for him to review the written feedback and listen to the audio file, but that was a small percentage of the students. Although the file would have been less than five minutes and could be listened to while reviewing the feedback. Students felt this was an effective method for receiving constructive feedback. Instructors felt that this was effective, but a bit more time involved in producing the feedback. Here are some actual testimonials that we received from our students that were involved in the test. And we took, we took a sample of uh, some of the ones that uh, had, had come in, and these were uh, some, some of the favorable ones. Thank you for the audio comments. After 10 years of not being in school, I was starving for feedback on my writing, and this was the first time I got something concrete I could work on. So you can see that that was very well received and perceived and, and a, a very favorable response. Here's another one. I want to have an A in the class, so knowing how I can improve goes a long way for my grade and for me personally. Thank you again. So you can see this student's satisfaction was, was very high, and uh, 
this particular test was furthering that student's success. Here's another student. Thank you again for the audio feedback. I continue to get so much out of it. I addressed the points you mentioned from last assignment, except I thought you said paragraphs had to be 48 sentences, which seemed long. But I didn't question and purpose, purposefully tried to make my paragraphs longer. Now this week, I heard that you said four to eight sentences. Ah, that makes way more sense. Now I feel silly for not asking. Regardless, I'm happy my grade improved significantly. Thanks to your notes. I'm aiming for a perfect paper this week. So you can see the dialogue and engagement that was occurring here and the connectivity to the instructor, and that's very important in an online learning environment. Here's another one, student number three. And again, these responses are, are, are responding to, you know, in, in, in one of the earlier weeks and then in, in the later weeks also. So here's what student three had to say. I think the Vokaru pilot is a fantastic idea and really works to bridge the disconnect that students may feel in an online course. Student responded in a different way. Having a verbal review of an assignment along with the waypoint markup creates more of a holistic experience. And I can honestly say I would have enjoyed having this opportunity throughout the duration of my entire program. There's another response from the same student. I sincerely hope the finding proves useful and that the audio tool is employed across all programs. So you can just see the impact that this had made on this particular student in terms of uh, satisfaction, in terms of success, and um, this particular student is looking forward to more Vokuru feedback. So I, at this point, I'd like to uh, turn it over to Dr. Andre Swanson. Thank you. So I want to tell you a little bit more about Vokuru. So Vokuru can be found online at that URL. Um, and this is what it looks like. It's very clean, very simple. It's going to say click to record, and then you're going to record. You have the opportunity to listen to it, and then you can re-record it if you want. So to record, you just click record, and then it'll pop up and say allow camera and microphone access, and then click listen And when you're finished. And then to play it back, you can listen, and then you can click save. Then you can copy that URL into your feedback. You also have an option to email, but you don't want to do that. So there's a few benefits to this. It's good for feedback. We found it very useful in this form. Uh, the recording is deleted after a period of time, but I don't know how long that period of time is. I think I'm still using some voluntary messages, so I'm not really sure. Um, and no account is needed. You don't need to log in or remember your password or anything like that. You just go in and use it. Well, just go to the website and use it. The drawbacks is just what I said, it's not permanent. Um, and someone did ask me about FERPA. Is this a violation of FERPA? And it's not because it's a unique code. Unless they share that code with somebody else, um, and then they're sharing it, not you. So uh, it's a unique identifier that's just for them. So I encourage all of you to not be shy and give it a try. I do want to say that in Canvas, there is an option. I know some of you may be thinking this. And um, I did this on another computer. In the DQ grading, it gave me the option to record media. This won't play. Don't worry about that. But it, you can record right there and embed it into the um, what, um, workers into, into your uh, feedback. That's adding visual. Now, today I was going to do the same thing and I came up with a different option. Why? I don't know. But it recorded um, just, it was like Dragon Naturally Speaking or voice recognition. And I tried it a couple of different ways. The first time I did it, it gave me a run-on sentence. 
medicine than I ever did it. And then the second time I tried it, I said, I came to the end of the sentence and I said, period, and I put a period in there. So it was very much like voice recognition. Try these options out in Canvas if you don't want to use Vocaroo. Try Vocaroo too. So I found this great little video. We're not going to play it right here. But if you go to this, it will um, show you and discuss what it's like to uh, upload in Canvas. So I just want to share our, our names and emails because we're recording this, so you can't talk to us live. But um, these are our addresses, and we would be more than happy to answer your question, perhaps by a vocal message. Thank you, um, Bill Davis, and thank you, Brenda Forty, and thank you, Alan Swank, for recording this. Thank you.